now we have an ancient recipe that will satisfy 21st century tastes. Joining us to prepare what we're told is a 2,000 year old wow. dish is a chef who teaches authentic Italian cooking classes all around the Bay Area at the best places. Welcome, Deborah Del Fovo. Hi, Deborah. Deborah Del Fovo. Hi, nice to see you. I'll just rub elbows with you since yeah, I, don't, I don't want to pass on my cold germs. It's great to see you again. Nice to see you too. So, well, can you describe this dish for us? This is carciofi alla romana, which, which means Roman style artichokes. Wow! And it's an ancient dish. Uh, Rom Romans love artichokes; yes, they love yes, them. Yes. But this is their favorite recipe, and um, we take one of these artichokes and whittle it down to a beautiful rose. Wow! And then we infuse it with garlic and fresh mint and olive oil. Let's go down the whole list of ingredients okay, so we can great. get a close-up look. Well, olive oil, of course, mm -hmm. lots of olive oil, right? And dry white wine, mm -hmm. uh, salt and pepper some fresh garlic, fresh mint, which is very much a part of Roman cooking. Oh, yeah. And fresh parsley. And, of course, you've got the two wonderful-looking uh, artichokes here. Globe artichokes. Globe yes. artichokes. So, so we do this part first, right? Like right. The, 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 what do you call so it? So first we make kind of a pesto. Yeah, and pesto. pesto means, you know, something... Pounded um, out of the mint, the parsley, and the garlic. Okay, and how so did you do that? You and just salt. Food processing? I no, I chopped that by hand. You chopped that by hand. Yeah. Is there an easy way to you, do that? Well, <laughs> just sprinkle it with salt, and okay. then um, it chops really easily. So oh, just okay. a touch of that, and then a little bit of uh, olive oil. Okay. And so make can a you put pesto. it in a food processor? If you I can to? if you pulse it. Okay. If Otherwise, I pulse it gets it. too mushy. Got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. Great. And then, uh, Spencer, you're going to help me clean the artichokes. Okay. I'm going to oh. teach you how to trim how to, them. Okay. Yes. Let me watch you do one okay, first. Okay. So choose your weapon. Okay. Great. Okay. It, okay. Start so this way. we start, and I, I'm doing it. You can do it this way or that way, whichever. Okay. I'm doing it for the camera. Oh, I got so you. you start by rotating it in the palm of your hand while you pull off the bottom leaves. Okay. These loose leaves, and then you start on the bottom row. And you pull them off. Well, you snap them back. I'll show you when we get up. See, oh, see how they snap back? Yes. Yes. And then just pull. And I right. hope the camera can see me. Because artichokes have a very tough, scaly exterior, but there's a lot of tenderness underneath there that we want to get to because right. it's delicious. And we are this, basically... This could take a little time. It takes, a, it takes <laughs> a lot like of time. It's like meditating to me. It's like so, soothing. I'm like... Oh but you want to get... You want to <laughs> eliminate the dark green, which right. is inedible. Right. And you want to get to the pale parts. Now, I'll yeah. show you oh. one. Oh, you okay? oh careful. Yeah, yeah. It there are be, some little... It can be a little, little prickly there. Yeah. So, so you do this through, you, with all the all leaves? All the way up. Oh. And then let me show you one that's okay, already so we'll been partially done. Oh, it looks so pretty. So oh. see how oh. it looks like a rose? Yes, yeah. it does. Okay. Yeah. Now we want to do... Um, let's just move this out of the way. Okay. okay. Now you get to this part that's purplish. Right. Okay? Yeah. We don't and want that in there. We do not because you, can't, it, you cannot eat it. Okay. So we're going to cut that off. And then we're going to take our trusty grapefruit spoon and we're going to insert it. And basically what you want to do is remove oh, the whole center. So almost like coring it out. Yeah. 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 And you get to what is called the choke, the choke of the artichoke. Yes. And what about that hair down there? Well, that's the choke. This that's is the okay. choke. Oh, that's yeah. what you call it? And you, if you eat this, you will feel like you're choking. So yeah. you want to get rid of that. <laughs> get, get all that okay. out of there. Okay, now that we've done this, we're going to trim the stem. But before that, we have lemons here. And since artichokes discolor very rapidly, oh, you, you want it? to always Squeeze be it. working with your lemon while gotcha. you're doing this. Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. Do I have to add some of uh, the... Pe uh, the Pesto? We're going to do that in a minute. Okay. First, we have to get rid of all this dark green. So, I don't know time-wise how we are. Yeah, we're well, doing okay right now. Okay. So, okay, all you do, this, and this is, is this is an art because there are people who do this all day long in, in Rome, and you can buy them already cleaned, which I find to be the ultimate convenience <laughs> food. Yes, okay. I would think so. I would prefer that to TV. This to, is like an art form. It really is. Okay. So, but it's good to, that we're seeing how this is done now. Beautiful. And then you just trim off all the dark green and you get to your rose. Oh, gotcha. Now, now let me you. Yeah. show you one that's... Already done? Already done. Uh -huh. Wow. Okay. That, that looks, looks beautiful. And then it's time to, to cook it? Now you oh, fill, put the, yeah, the fill it. In. And right. then now you're going to use your hands. You use my hands? Well, I can use mine if you I can, want. I can okay. And just... And just you want to... Oh, get it Put in it between. into all oh, yeah, the yeah. leaves. Okay. That's for all the flavors. And Beautiful. then rub it all around. Rub it all around. Rub it on the stem. And, and then, then we put it in our pan. Yeah. It's very easy. Put it in our pan, upside stem down. Up, stem right, uh -huh. up. 
Lots of olive oil on top. Any water? A little bit of water and some white wine. Would you like to do the okay. honors with the white wine? Oh, so, add okay. the white wine, please. Some white wine and then just a little bit of water. Is that good? A little bit more. Okay. And then it's going to cook for how long? About that 25 minutes, half hour, depending on the size of the artichoke. And you have the, finish, you have the okay. finished product over there for us? I to have the yes, finished. Yes, let's try it. And it comes out after 25 minutes. How do you know when it's ready? Well, we're going to test it. Okay. They look beautiful. So it's you like just, when you it. can insert the point of the knife into the stem like that, it's ready. Okay. okay. Insert the knife into the stem and... The base of the stem. Okay. Yes. I'll give you your cutlery. And then let me, I'm going to... So we can try this. Yes, my gut parsley on my okay, hands. Okay, beautiful. I'm just going to do this. It's well, Deborah, thank you so much while he's preparing that. You teach classes at Drager's, Ramekin's, Relish, Sur La Table, and Viva Cooking Schools. My gosh, you're a busy lady. <laughs> this is going to be good. It's, the, oh, my uh, gosh. Ingredi the ingredients. The recipe is on our website. All the cooking instructions right there. Follow this, and you can have yourself a wonderful Roman feast. There you go. Thank, thank, you, thank you so, so much. much. Okay.